Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a classic Greek recipe with a twist. Mushroom casserole. Stifado. Hearty and homey, this dish combines tender mushrooms with pearl onions in a rich aromatic tomato sauce. Trust me, it will make even meat eaters jealous. So let's begin! I have a nice pot here and I want to become extremely hot. Here I have these lovely onions. These are actually Greek salads. So you will use salads and we want to be extremely big. So apparently you will think that I'm crazy and I'm using a lot of onion, right? But I am not. I'm not crazy because this recipe needs lots of onion. When we're cooking onion, they become extremely juicy, extremely sweet, and it's actually like a marmalade. At this point, they are rough, tough, and not tasty. When we cook them, they are the most sexy veggies ever. Now, we want extra virgin Greek olive oil into the pan, and because we are making stifado, we have to use good amount of olive oil. About four to five tablespoons should be enough. Now, the smell of olive oil when you put it on the pan, it's amazing. I love this smell. Now, the onions goes in like it is, and probably you're thinking that I'm crazy. But I told you already that I'm not. Now, it's time for mushrooms. I have button mushrooms here. You can use any type of mushrooms you like. You can use porcini, you can use Portobello, you can use Plevrotus, you can use Seps, you can use any type of mushrooms you like. I will quarter them and at the same time I will saute my onions. Amazing. Now it's easy. So be patient for two to three minutes until I finish my mushrooms. It's time for mushrooms. Oh my God. Mushrooms go in, along with the onions or salads, whatever you want. And look at this. Now, we have to reduce the volume of the mushrooms. Be patient for about five to 10 minutes until everything is half in volume. After that, we'll carry on with the recipe. At this point, as you can see, it's ready to add the rest of the ingredients. So I have red wine, tomato paste, chili flakes, bay leaf, one cinnamon stick, some water, tomato, One chicken cube, if you like. And it's time to add some herbs. And it's time to add some Greek spices. We have all spice here. We have cloves. And we will enough them. This way, we will prevent from eating them because they are too tiny and we will lose them inside the tomato sauce. So a nice bouquet garni with all this loveliness. But we need both, we need cloves and all spice. These are very classic spices we're using at Stifado. So put it in, I have two cloves of garlic. Thinly slice them. Add them also here. Mix everything together. And it's time to add the seasoning. Very classic salt and pepper. Now, cover the pot and simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes until the salads are completely soft and tender. My mushroom casserole is ready. I'm here. This rubbish. And it's time to serve. It's a vegetarian option, but 
Even if you are not vegetarian, it's lovely to eat this lovely stew. So I have some basmati rice here, nice and fluffy. And I want to add just to the end a little bit of honey. Just a little bit, trust me. Mix everything together. Very, very careful because we don't want to break the salads. We want them to keep them all comfy like it is and look at this. Lovely tomato sauce with all these aromatic spices, the cloves, the cinnamon. Oh my God, this is amazing. One cinnamon stick here and a little bit of oregano. What do you think will be the last ingredient at this lovely casserole? Extra virgin Greek. Of course. Extra virgin Greek olive oil, because we want nice, healthy fat to our casserole. And a little bit of pepper. And this is amazing. It's time to taste. When you see these recipes, you're actually jealous vegetarians because this is amazing. Mm. Cinnamon, cloves, and all spices with these lovely onions, the salads are make the best combination ever. You should try this recipe because it's very, very, very delicious. You have to subscribe to my channel, make comments underneath the video, and of course, like it. Exactly. See you next time. Bye bye. Yes, mm.